Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn that how we can enter the data in SPSS 29. If you are using a previous version, there is no change in the entering of the data in SPSS. So suppose if you have a questionnaire of your research and you want to enter the data of Likert scale and uh, semantic differential scale or any other scale that you have used in your research, we will see that how we can enter the data of these scales in SPSS software. So let's start. First of all, as you can see, there are three overview or views shown here. First one is variable view. In variable view, we basically enter the variable details in SPSS. In data view, we mention or we enter the data that we get from the participant in data view and if you are using 29 version you will see that there is an option of overview it will be activated when you will enter some kind of data it will give you a summary of of your whole data and there is another view which is output view it will appear when you perform any kind of analysis in SPSS so let's start with the variable view I have a questionnaire that I have taken from Julie Pallant book and uh, here we have a first variable which is sex or gender and I'm going to mention it here in name portion you cannot mention the space here if you put the space some kind of space in the variable name it will give you an, an illegal character error like I have mentioned sex and then space and variable name contains an illegal character error appeared in front of me and if you are going to mention a long name like political communication with the space it will give you a same error that has appeared before like it will ask you that is variable name contains an illegal character so what we can do if we want to mention the name in SPSS we can use underscore or you we can use dollar sign or we can use the dash so i'm going to mention the dash here let's see whether it will give us an error or not so political communication p o l dash c o double -M. and let's see okay still error appeared in front of me so i'm going to use p o l underscore c o double -M. So no error appeared. So what we can use, we can use dollar sign. Here I'm going to use dollar sign and communication. There is no error appeared. So I'm going to enter the data from, we can select the row and then we have to click the right button on mouse and it shows us some option like we can clear or we can delete the variable if we want to insert a new variable we can right click on it and insert a new variable here and uh, i'm going to remove all of them by selecting them and uh, it will clear them okay so or we can enter a new variable in spss you have to simply go to name and here i'm going to mention as sex and it will complete the details of rest of the column automatically like type numeric bit eight decimal label values label option is empty and we will see that what we can mention here in the sex you cannot mention the complete question in the name portion you can mention what is your sex here and it didn't give you any error because they have give you a leverage here you can mention all of your question here label it, it doesn't give you any kind of illegal character error in values you can mention the the categories of your variable like sex has two categories or three categories uh, male female and another option and if you do not want to mention anything in spss 29 you will see that they have given us an option of this window and you will click on the plus sign here you can 
enter the value one and you can label it with male and then you can mention two and you can give it email label so click on the ok button now the values has been entered now i'm going to add another variable which is age if your variable is not categorical and you have measured your variable on ratio scale then there is no need to mention anything in values portion you can simply mention what is your age here in label and there is no need to give any value because we do not know the values of our respondent age in case of ratio i am repeating it there is no need to mention any values in spss for your variable so you can change the measures like gender is a or sex is a nominal variable and age is a scale variable spss give the scale option for interval or ratio level scale you can watch other other videos of us where we have talked about what are the different level of measurement like nominal ordinal interval and ratio next variable is marital status marital status is also a nominal variable where we have some categories marital status here i'm going to underscore use underscore because there is no need to give the space because it will give the error and uh, here we can we can copy paste your question like i'm going to copy it and uh, then you can paste in your label option now i'm going to mention the values here like first value is for uh, single value one single value two is for steady relationship value three is living with partner and you can mention the rest of your values now i'm going to enter the next variable i'm going to go for likert scale the scale a it's a likert scale which is going to measure about the optimism of our participant and here i have six questions you can copy these questions and you can paste them here like if you have six question you can paste them accordingly and here we have variable 1 to variable 8 variable 9 10 you can open the excel file and you can mention a short name for your likert scale like i have six items so and it's for optimism i can mention opt1 and then op you can drag down it for six create this create these names and then select this one and paste it with control v so i have named all of my new questions question one two three four five with optimism one two three four five six these are all the question of optimism if you have mentioned or prepared all of your questionnaire in word file simply copy them and then paste all of those questions in label portion and name them with short keywords and uh, you can prepare them, them in in excel file and uh, simply copy them and paste here so what other thing we have to do in the value portion you have to mention what does it mean by uh, strongly agree disagree here we are going to mention one as strongly disagree as you can see the questionnaire has strongly disagree strongly agree options and uh, i'm going to mention strongly disagree here and what are the other options two is disagree three is neutral similarly 
फोर वन इज एग्री एंड फॉर फिफ्थ वन वी हैव स्ट्रोंगली एग्री क्लिक ऑन द ओके बटन नाउ वट आई हैव टू डू नाउ देर इज नो नीड टू मैंशन ऑल ऑफ द रेस्ट वैल्यूज यू कैन सिंपली यूज द कंट्रोल सी बटन एंड देन सेलेक्ट ऑल ऑफ दीज एम टी वैल्यूज एंड नाउ प्रेस द कंट्रोल वी बटन एंड इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली मैंशन ऑल ऑफ दोज वैल्यूज अकॉर्डिंगली देर इज नो नीड यू कैन सिंपली कॉपी एंड पेस्ट रेस्ट ऑफ द वैल्यूज बाय जस्ट सिंपली पुटिंग द वैल्यू इन वन कॉलम एंड वन रन रो एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द रोज कैन बी फिल्ड विद द सेम कॉपी एंड पेस्ट ऑप्शन वट आई हैव टू डू नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट माई ईयर्स ऑप्शन हेयर लाइक नॉमिनल एंड द रेस्ट आर स्केल ऑप्शन एज ऑप्टिमिजम इज मयर्ड ऑन लिकट स्केल सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट स्केल ऑप्शन हेयर सो दिस इज द प्रोसीजर ऑफ Entering the data in SPSS twenty nine, where we have taken one nominal variable, then scale variable, interval and ratio. If you have data in in any other form like semantic differential scale, there is no need to change anything. You have to simply select the option like uh, these are my. This is the scale C, which is measuring the positive and negative feelings of the people and their emotions. and it measured on semantic differential scale you have to simply select all of these items and uh, you can mention them here like in label portion it automatically fill the rest of the columns you have to change the names like it's about negative and positive feeling so negative if it's question about the question is about negative feelings you can mention them negative f 1 and if the question are 6 i'm going to paste them here after selecting it okay so this is the way and what i have to do now in the values portion i have to simply just fill the one row and i can simply copy and paste them for the rest of the rows there is no need to mention all of the values again and again i am going to select very slightly or not at all for one value one and then paste the information here for value 2 I need to select a little for value three. I'm going to select moderately. For four, I'm going to select quite a bit. And for five, I'm going to select. extremely click the okay button now you have to select control c and then select the rest of the rows and you can simply press the control v button it will fill the rest of the options okay this is the way to enter the values or to fill the values of spss data file now i will go for data view now these are the this is the place where i have to mention the data that i have received from the participant you can simply clear if you, if the data is already filled like i am going to going to remove it okay if the if i talk about the participants here 1 2 3 4 5 means these is the details of my participant and if we see at the above side these are the variables names that the respondent have answered us about about anything 
so the first if we talk about the first respondent he told us that he is a male and age is 25 marital status is single and rest he selected like these options okay so if we talk about the next person she's a female and she is 24 and she is single and she selected these option for the questionnaire so this is the way through which you can fill the whole of your data file in SPSS first of all you have to take the information from the participant and then you can first fill the variable view option and then you can go for the data view and here you can mention the data that you have received through questionnaire from your participant one more thing that student can use that they can give the IDs to all of their questionnaire and they can add a new variable from insert variable and they can mention the ID and there is no need to fill the rest of the options what it will serve the purpose they can simply go to the data view and they can give the participant when as number one participant two number two and rest they can give all of the numbers to the rest of the options it will help them if some of the values are empty they can go to the dead questions and find out that which one of the participant has doesn't answer the question like if the participant number 18 is doesn't provide us the details of his gender we can know from the questionnaire by going back to the 18 number question questionnaire that was filled by any participant and we can see that which of the option is not filled by us during the data entry and we can refill the question refill the data in SPSS so this is the whole procedure if you want to save the file you can go to file and here you can use the save as option I am going to save this op file in in desktop I'm going to select the desktop and here I can mention the name of the file SPSS data entry you can mention the name as per your own choice so this is the procedure to enter the data in SPSS if I will show you here is the SPSS data entry the file has been appeared in the, in the desktop I hope you have liked the video please do not forget to subscribe the channel keep watching the videos